T'was a few days before Christmas, we left early that morn, headed north to Indiana to where Joey was born. It was me, Heidi, and Hopi, Heidi's boyfriend and Russ, and one wee little baby on a big red tour bus. As we pulled into Grandma's, the sun fell from the sky, and we smelled biscuits and ham, homemade candy and pie. And we hugged and we kissed and we laughed and we smiled, every sister and cousin, every grown-up and child. And we ate and we ate till our bellies were sick, and sang songs about Rudolph and good old Saint Nick. But then what to our wondering eyes should appear? but the same Santa Claus that came to see us last year. He said he and the missus had timed it out right, left their condo in Florida to be with us that night. The kids told him their wishes and sat proud on his lap, except one little baby who needed a nap. And we opened our presents and we grinned ear to ear, and we thought of our loved one not with us this year. And we all stayed up late and slept in the next day. Then the family all loaded in Russ Driver's big sleigh. And he took them out shopping to the mall and for tea. While we stayed behind little Indy and me. And we watched some home movies from when Joey was young. And Grandma made lunch and when that was done. I took a walk down the lane to a place in the snow where I'd asked Joey to marry me long, long ago. And then we all met for dinner and we sang fa ra ra and ate sushi and ramen with Grandma and Grandpa. Our last stop was Jesse's as our trip's ending neared. Nindy stood for the first time as we clapped and we cheered. Then we gathered our things and we said our goodbyes as we climbed in the bus with big tears in our eyes. But we heard Russ exclaim as he pulled out of sight, Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night.